This video is an overview of the Power Monitor Starter Kit for Compact Rio. The hardware for the Power Monitoring Starter Kit includes a Compact Rio controller module, an FPGA-based chassis, the NI9227 5 amp current measurement module, and the NI9225 300 volt RMS measurement module. Also available are the optional desktop mounting kit for the Compact Rio system, which makes it easier to work with during development. To assemble the Compact Rio system, we're going to insert the chassis into the controller module and then screw it down. And now I'm going to go ahead and add the optional desktop mounting kit by simply tightening the thumb screws on each side of the chassis. There are pre-drilled holes. Let me get this one tightened down. And now it's at a nice comfortable angle to work with. Now we're going to install the modules. The NI9227 module in slot 3. And you can hear it latch into place. And then we're going to install the NI9225 module for voltage into slot 4. Now if you want, you could also grab an optional filler module and just fill any of the gaps that you want, but again, that's optional. We now have a complete compact Rio system and are now ready to make some connections. So we're going to start with an Ethernet connection, plug that into port 1, and then we're going to plug in power. Compact Rio operates on anywhere from 9 to 35 volts. And so you see the lights are going to light up and it's booting up. Now for power measurements, we're going to have to make some connections to the modules. For this video, I have a power strip that has been spliced so I can make an in-series current measurement. So I'm going to connect my spliced cable into the 9227 module. And now anything that's plugged into the power strip is going to be routed through the cable. And then for a voltage measurement, I have a power cord which is plugged directly into the power strip. All right, let's look at the complete system. So we've got our compact Rio chassis connected with power and ethernet. And then we have the current measurement module, which is connected to, in series, the power strip so that anything plugged in, the current will flow through the current measurement module. And then the 9225 is taking a voltage measurement in parallel across the hot and the neutral pins of this power cable. Now let's take a look at the software. The software contains all necessary files needed to launch the starter kit. This includes a project. And if we take a closer look at the starter kit project, you can see here we have the Compact Rio system, which has been named Demo 9024, and that's connected over Ethernet, so there's its IP address. If we expand this, you'll note that there's the two components. There's the actual controller component, which is running a program on it. But then there's also the chassis component with an FPGA, which has its own VI running on it. Now the one that you would run with the user interface is the one that's running on the controller. So if we open that up, you can see the starter kit software user interface. This user interface is divided into multiple tabs. So here we have a waveform display tab where you can choose how many different waveforms you want to see. You can also select how many phases you want. So this is a multi-phase system, so we can select different phases. Nothing is connected to phase two and three, so I can turn those off. And I'll go ahead and turn on phase one again. Slip, slip, switching over to the next tab, we have our current and voltage data. So here's a variety of different parameters, ranging from simple RMS and phase angle um, to calculated factors such as crest factor. And this is available, again, for all three phases. But as you can see, we're only connected in one phase right now, phase A. Now if we skip over and look at the power monitoring side, right now nothing is connected to my grid. Uh, any power that you do see is actually coming from this small LED on the power strip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in a lamp that I have here in the studio with me. And I'm going to plug this into my grid. And now if I turn on my lamp, 
you'll see that my power chart has, is showing now that I'm measuring about 97, 98 watts, which is accurate because this is a 100 watt bulb. And so you can see I can quickly turn this off and on. I'm going to capture all those off and on series of events in my trend. And then also because this is a incandescent bulb, it has a near perfect power factor of, a, of about one. If I switch over on this other graph, you can see a trend of the RMS voltage and RMS current. One other feature that you can notice is that we've got sag and interruption indicator. So since this is all connected through a power strip, if I turn the strip off, the serial keeps running and it detects that we are in a interruption condition. Or if it's brief, it is a sag condition. Once you have this set up, you can add your own algorithms to the Compact Rio controller or to the FPGA for higher speed advanced analysis. This could just as easily be uh, utility power or a substation grid as it could be an end user appliance such as a refrigerator or an oven. Um, and again, this is a 5 amp measurement module. Because I'm dealing with low power devices in the studio here, I'm able to go directly into it. But again, because it's 5 amps, you can plug in 1 amp or 5 amp CTs to it. This concludes the overview video for the Power Monitoring Startup Kit with Compact Rio.